CS6 videos by Andrew Buckle. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can create a tick mark. Now I'm just going to go, and I'm using it as a vector, so I'm just going to go over to the pen tool. First thing, just select the pen tool and I'm just going to go up top, click there. Now I'm using it as a shape and the fill is going to be a red. So then go down and then slightly up at 45 degrees or so. And obviously it depends on what type of tick you want to actually create but you can obviously create a whole variety of different ticks so I'm just going to go up about again 45 degrees up and then cross and back again to that corner then up and then click there to make a closed path so you've got that design there which is of course a tick you can also just then go to edit and define custom shape click OK now you can also of course go back and do another one I'm just going to click, go pen tool click there go there Another option you could go for is just raise slightly and then click there and then go not to the top part but just slightly off. So you can just go off and then tick there. Okay, so now that can be also edit, define, custom shape. And of course you can add other paths around that. Another option of course if you want to actually make a slightly more accurate tick mark of course, and this is just the same, so you just create a a long line of rectangle using the rectangle tool just there and hold the alt down duplicate it resize that a bit then go down there rotate it then just drag that across place it there so you've actually got it so you've got that whole path there select both of those and just go to edit but then of course that's not available so to actually make that available Combine shapes, unite shapes, and edit and then define custom shape. But of course, that tick mark is not a very convincing tick mark, so you might actually want to just have that turned around. Of course, you can rotate the shape at any point, so you can actually decide to have the tick mark at any position. So it doesn't really matter if it's like that position, you can actually rotate it to that position and then go for edit, define custom shape. And of course, you can always distort them as well, so edit and transform path. So if you want to actually distort that custom shape, you can actually create different tick marks just by going down like that. Edit again, define custom shape, click OK. Right, you can also, if you wish, of course, create a new layer, and there's another way to create a more sort of rough design, new layer. And just go to the brush tool, and I'm just going to select any brush tool. It doesn't really. I'm just going to go for. Could go for any of these. So I'm just going to go for that one. Maybe a harder. Yeah, I'll just go a bit, and then just on that layer, just add quick tick mark. Obviously, much more natural tick mark. You got slightly, and then you can go over to select load selection layer one transparency. So you just get it actually get a selection there. Go to window and pass, and then you can just go to make a work path. Keep it that, and then edit and define custom shape. And you can save that as a custom shape as well. So that's it's all been saved as a custom shape. Now I'm just going to go back to the blank, and then go to the custom shapes, custom shape tool. And of course you don't have to go with that colour, you can actually go with and then select the actual custom shapes, the tick marks from here. So you can just quickly apply those as shapes or just as a pixel. That's help to actually apply it. It's gonna do something now, it's gonna whir around, think about it. Yep, don't want that. Okay. What I want to do, just create it on the background. Of course just select that and of course you can apply it in any colour as well so you don't have to go for that. And the final one just there which is a more sort of rougher sort of tick mark. I hope you found this